leave me alone? No, I ain't gonna leave you alone. Because if you be gone, I'll be gone too. She has a very, very bright future ahead of her, and I'll never forget her. Me and my daddy, we stay right here. We who the earth is for. All right, Black Tree TV fans, I have a special treat. I'm the biggest fan this year of, uh, out of all the nominees of Miss Quavis and A. Wallace. And, and I, the first time I seen your movie, Beast of the Southern Wild, I was blown away. I couldn't do nothing but tell all my friends. Amazing performance. I hope the Academy recognizes this girl. And I was so excited when I heard that you got the nomination. Tell me how you reacted. I'm always excited with something that um, I was half asleep. So pretty much this didn't change but in the inside it did change so now, I don't know what I was you know your age I, I had no idea about the Oscars or what it meant do you I mean were before you got into acting in this in this movie did you have any scope of Oscar winners or what the Academy Awards was no we actually had to learn what that was because we went to like a Q&A and it was like a serious Q&A because it was for the Oscars and stuff and it had the all mostly some Academy winners and voters and stuff like that. So we went in and I was like, what is that gold thing doing there? And they are like, that's the uh, Oscar. I'm like, what is the Oscar? And they told me, I was like, don't you mean the golden man? So now that's what I call it. Well, one thing I, I don't know if you, you've, you've uh, learned yet about it, that when you're at this stage and you've been nominated, You've clearly al already won. When you when you're a nominee out of all those great movies of the year, it means that your performance stands out. So it means you're already a winner, no matter what happens on Academy Night. You know that, right? Yes. I'm I'm curious because I mean, having you the youngest lead actress nominee in history, I mean, it says a lot about the Academy and how stuff has grown and, and the performance. But I'm wondering at your age, what else do you want to do? Because when I was nine, I had a lot of stuff that I wanted to do. What other things that do you like to do? Um, I like to swim, skate, play basketball, play volleyball, sing, dance, um, jump in my bed a little. Um, normal stuff. In Beast of the Southern Wild, you got the cutest nickname, and your, your name Hush Puppy. Is it do you, do your your friends? Uh, have a nickname for your friends and family. Do they have a nickname for you at home? My daddy calls me many things. My mom calls me many. Th I have too many. You got too many. So you're not gonna stick with one. Um, the one I mostly get is Q. Okay. Okay. So we 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 started a campaign yesterday. Well, well Black Film started a campaign, and I and I stuck to it. We're we're all Team Wallace this year. Have you been seeing the tweets go out for Team Wallace? And it, and I changed it. Do you even see Twitter or get on Twitter? I have a Twitter. I had set it up last night because we were just seeing how it works. So yeah. now I have one. Okay, well, we're going to be tweeting Team Wallace all year because we want to really see you get that Golden Man trophy at the, at the, end, of the, at the end of the season. So uh, what's your Twitter address? Um, my mom set it up. So I think it's... Um, I am Quovenjene Wallace, I think it is. All right, well, we're going to put it on the screen just in case so so you guys could all start following this great actress because you got more movies coming out. I mean, I already heard about your performance in uh, 12 Years a Slave, and I'm sure you got a lot of other things coming out, you know, soon. How is, like, becoming this recognized actress? Because uh, I know before you, you, you weren't even doing, like, castings and stuff now, but are you getting a lot of casting requests or people saying, we want you in our movie, we want you to do this and, and stuff now? Um, yeah, now that we have, the day it came, people, like, it was fun and cally, but, like, the next day it wasn't fun and cally. It was interview, interview, photos. I wasn't ready. I thought it was just going to be like, oh, she got nominated. No, it's the whole other way. Everybody's watching you now. Everybody will be watching everything you're doing, uh, every film that you have coming out now, because it will say Oscar nominee or Oscar winner, you know, Quavo Janae Wallace. But what do you watch on TV or film? Disney Channel and Nickelodeon. You have a favorite show? All the shows on Nickelodeon, all the shows on Disney Channel. You sound like my kids. What, what are the, your friends and family, how have they reacted to 
you becoming, you know, this this star? You, have you seen your friends treat you differently or your family treat you any differently? Um, I haven't seen them since, like, the nomination. But um, before then, they would just be like, oh, you came back, huh? You came back. You left me, huh? Didn't bring me. Any. So it's just like, it's like that. But I'm not, I don't think it's going to be like, like that whenever I go back. It's going to be excited, and it's probably going to throw a parade for you and when you come back. At least I would. Yeah. So, anyway, I, I don't want to keep you long. I know you got a busy week, and everybody's going to be trying to talk to you, but I'm so glad that I had the chance to talk to you, you know, before uh, the big show. And I hope to see you at the big show. I know you – do you have any idea what you're going to be wearing yet? Nope. You, sh you should have the flyest outfit out there, I believe. I think so. Think so? For a kid. For a kid, I think for anybody, I think we gotta go for Q Wallace's best dress at the Oscars this year. Okay. So fun. Thank you for your time. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Quivian Janae Wallace, and you're watching Black Tree TV.